Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at adding HTML code to Wix. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay so now that we have the website open I'm going to show you a couple of ways into adding code onto the website. So you do have the basics version which is just embedding HTML code. This is just for specific content. You can add things from Calendly. You can add things from canva as well so it's pretty much just any third-party tools that you, you want to embed onto the wix website you can easily do so i'll show you that first now once you have the website open we'll just create a open section here right now so you'll see on the very top left you'll have a couple of options you'll have add elements add section and pages menu the one that we really want to go for here is just the elements so click on this and then what you want to search up for is the HTML or embed HTML. So if you go all the way down here, you'll be able to, to find embed code. And you can see there we've got embedded HTML, embedded a site or custom element. So this is the one that we want to choose. So currently this is how it looks. You can see here we have the option to put a website address on here so again that's just any sort of website that you might have so I'll just give you an example here right now i'll just get our website up here and you can see there you can have a pretty much a website and a website but mainly you'd use this specifically for let's just say like a calendar or again you could use this for any sort of forms or even like a booking calendar as well so there's multiple ways to add it onto the website and it's through the embedded html so that's one way you could change it now you can as you can see there i did stretch it it does have the option as well to do the full width so i can just stretch that all the way so it looks a lot cleaner and of course, as well as that, I can adjust my margins as well. So we'll change the website address and I'll show you how to use it for code. So we'll now change it back to, well, we'll place it in for code. I'll go ahead and remove the website address and we'll put it on for code. Now, this is all to do with just HTML code in general. Now I've got a Canva design ready to go here. Now, if you don't, know about this you can actually just go on to share uh, go on see all and then select the embed and embed so we've got a couple of different options here we could do the html embed uh, embed code or we could do the uh, smart link as you can see here so i'll copy this i'll jump back onto the website and simply just place in the code that you have and then all we need to do is go ahead and just update and it will it should appear on screen just give it a little minute to pop up here there we go so again you will just have to adjust how the design looks on this so you can see how it's a uh, slightly bigger All right again that'll be pretty handy for any brochures that you might have or uh, details that you might want to share on here that you can't design through Wix of course uh, with Wix there are limitations as well so you can push those limitations by using this uh, embed HTML and then create some designs on Canva so multiple ways you could use this and as I say there are different platforms out there that can offer well they do have a, a third well it's almost like a third party link so with Calendly as well you can pretty much get a code off there and place it onto here and with any other platforms out there as well. So that's the simple version for adding code onto a Wix website. If you do want to go for a broader website modification, then you'll have to add some custom code. Now, this is fairly straightforward. You'll have an option here on the very top that gives you an option for dev mode. Now, there is Velo that's a uh, part of Wix here. So this is basically JavaScript. So if you click on the dev mode, and there you go, add your own JavaScript code, connect Wix business or external APIs. 
use internal and external development tools and zero setup with serverless node.js. So if you turn on that dev mode, you'll have an option here at the very bottom. Uh, again, all in JavaScript as well. You can get pretty creative with this. You can create light mode, dark mode. You can create some effects with some sliders or any elements that you're trying to basically modify as well. So I'll go ahead and show a basic way of using the code. So I'll just get this up now. So I went ahead and just skipped forward here. So basically this is where you would place the code. Now again, it all just works with JavaScript as you can see. So what I've been trying to create here is a light mode to dark mode for the actual website that I'm trying to create here. Uh, again, this is pretty much just all the scripts as you can see. Now, there will be different pages that you can create a code for. So on the far left side, just under the main pages there, you've got your home, our mission, contact, FAQ. This is pretty much what uh, what pages are on the actual website itself. Then you do have the master page. That's pretty much where you would want to put the code into. Now, uh, again, it's pretty much the same for any of the other pages, like store pages, member sites, or members area, sorry, uh, pricing plans, pages, and the light boxes. You do have the option as well to go into the back end. So like add server side code and web modules with zero setup. So it is pretty much, it, it's complex enough for how it works. It makes the website well, whatever website you're creating on Wix, a little bit more customized in comparison with just normal templated websites. And you do have free reign to create whatever you want, especially using the Wix fellow. You do also have an option as well to go into GitHub. So just as long as you connect your GitHub onto this, uh, you do have, again, full reign of connecting all the, the code that you need onto the Wix website. Now, you'll have an option here as well to test the code in preview just before you go live. So again, just make sure you're not hitting that publish button. Make sure you'll uh, click on either the test site or the preview site. It just saves any hassle, especially if you're in the works of creating the code that you need for the website. But other than that, that is how to add code onto a Wix website. But guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. That let us know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.